hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about half range sine and cosine series so basically it is also similar to odd and even functions excuse me it is basically similar to even and odd functions which we have discussed in the previous tutorial guys basically what is sine guys in odd and even functions it is nothing but odd function cosine it's an even function so that's what we do but just the name changes that's nothing but half range sine series half range cosine series so half okay let us assume this question example find half range sine and cosine series of the function f of x is equals to pi minus x in 0 comma pi so basically half range Fourier series is nothing but f of x is equals to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sine n x right yeah so we'll be finding sine. Sine is a odd function. So odd functions will be having only one term that is bn. So bn is equals to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sine nx dx. So we substituted this pi minus x. So we done uv. So here we got sine. So we'll be neglecting that to 0 and we have just substituted the limits. So that we got 2 by n at the end. So that is our bn. So our half range sine series is nothing but f of x is equals to 2 sigma n equal to 1 to infinity sin nx by n so this is our half range sine series that's it so now let us go through half range cosine series guys okay so basically cosine is an even function so it will be having a naught and a n so a naught is nothing but 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx so we substituted pi minus x we solved it so that we got pi so a naught is pi and similarly we found a n 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx okay we solved we got sine here so that equal to zero we got here cos so we substituted the limits so we got a term like this so that will be our a n so we will be substituting these two a naught and a n in our basic equation of f of x so we will be getting this result guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this topic it is nothing but half range sine and cosine series guys it's similar to odd and even functions so as I told you in the previous tutorial, I'm going to discuss something special, but I have just forgot at the end guys. Sorry for that. And let us see in this tutorial guys. So if there is a question, something like anything which we or you are unable to find whether it is an even function or an odd function, if you are not able to identify it. So in even function, we will be finding a naught and a n, right? In odd function, we will be finding b n. So we need to know that whether it is an even function or an odd function. So if there is a question in which we didn't identify whether it is an even function or an odd function. So basically go with the normal formula of these three guys. The original formula which consists of a naught, a n and b n. Find the three values guys so that your solution will be absolutely correct for that. So you, if you apply this formula for an even function or an odd function, you are gonna get a n is equals to a naught is equals to 0 or b n is equals to 0 so any one of this condition should be true in your result so from that you can say that if b n is equals to 0 it is an even function if a n and a naught is equals to 0 it's an odd function like that you can justify so you'll be solving it in a normal way and at the end you will be writing at the top as it is an even function so we follow we need to find only a n and a naught so if it is an odd function we will be finding only b and like that you can write the statement and you can just conclude it right there so now i hope everyone got a small idea on even function odd function half range sine and half range cosine so in the next tutorial we will be going through one of the last and most important topic change in intervals let's meet in the next tutorial guys thank you thanks for watching